Alright, we've been working on this tractor for a little bit now. I had to do a valve job on it. And uh, that's all done. And put a solenoid in it. That's done. I guess, and I figured while we we had it in here and everything, I'd take the deck off because I was having trouble with uh, this little pulley here. This is uh, this engages the belts, and this deck is in pretty pretty bad shape. It uh, it needed a little welding. It still needs welding, but I'm gonna wait. See the holes, the rod holes. But other than that, it's pretty solid. But I had to uh, repair that and uh, support it just to get this thing. Uh, working properly so I figured while I had the deck off I might as well uh, sharpen and balance the blades so uh, let me flip this over and we'll take the blades off and uh, we'll show you how to balance them alright it's always a good idea to mark the which is uh, which on here there you probably can't see that but I can but uh, I'll be able to tell which is the top which is the bottom. It's easy enough to make a mistake, but uh, that should be nice and clean on the bottom. But anyway, this, this is only a temporary fix here. Get me through the summer to reinforce that so uh, it work. But uh, Alright, we're here for these blades, so uh, let's take this off. Ah! Well, look how shiny that is. See, I'll be able to tell which way it goes on, but uh, if it's a new blade, you should uh, mark it so you can tell. All right, let's bring us over to the bench. All right, I got a device here, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a, a four and a half inch grinder here. But you could you could use a grinding wheel, or Christ, if you had to, you could even file it down. You know, just uh, it can take a long time to file it, and just with a regular file. So uh, put your hearing protection on. And your, your safety glasses. And I think it's. I've heard people say it's a 45 degree angle, but I don't think it is. But anyway, you just want to you just want to follow that. I'm not going to get too goofy because I, I have uh, stones on my property and stuff. Believe it or not, it's uh, pretty sharp. I think I'm going to hit just a little bit more. It's actually pretty good. I'm not going to worry about these little cuts in here because they're they're sharp too. And you want to, you could hit it in the back here with that grinder, but uh, I'm just going to knock that off the top. Okay. Believe it or not, that's uh, pretty close to razor sharp there. All right, let me flip it over to the other side. Alright, this side's in a lot worse shape, so I'm going to have to take a lot more off, which means when we try and balance it, I'll probably have to take more off of that side. But uh, it looks like this side took uh, takes the brunt of most of the stuff. It's uh, beat up pretty bad.
Okay, believe it or not, that's pretty good. Like I say, these little divots and stuff, they're even they're sharp, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. Some guys can get goofy and uh, make that square and everything, but uh, I probably wouldn't even have sharpened this if uh, I didn't have to take the deck off. All right, now let's uh, let's see how out of balance it is. All right, this little thing here is uh, for balancing uh, lawnmower blades. There's nothing to it. It's just a a pin, and they have this on here for different size uh, holes in the, in the blades and stuff like that. And uh, I'll show you how it works. But first, you want to make sure you're on a flat surface. I've got a level here, and uh, my bench is out a little bit. Not much, but uh, a little bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, get this out of the way and put a piece of wood down. And uh, I, already, I already figured out what I need. I'm going to need, uh, I'm using razor blades as shims here. And then, and you got this piece of angle iron, put that on here. So right now, this board should be uh, pretty close to level. Good enough. Good enough for government work, right? Alright, now we just, uh, we'll put this little thing on here. And you see it's uh, pretty square all the way around. And then, let me put you up on a tripod. Alright, got our blade here. Now what they do, you, you stick it on the center of this thing. And this one here is a little tough because it's not... There we go. Okay, there we go. But anyway... I lowered you down here so you can actually see. See how how close this is to the bench or the piece of wood and this was up high? That means uh, we have to take some material off of this side here. And the more material will take off, the lighter it will get and it will bring it up uh, level. And that's what you want. You want it as level as possible. See, you can see on this side. Alright, so we're going to mark it. Take some off of here. I just knocked it off its pivot, so that's why it's like that. There we go. Okay. But you really you really don't need this. This is only this is only a five or six dollar item. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to buy one. It's made of aluminum, it's pretty good. And I've had this one, almost it looks brand new, but I've had this one about 20 years. But they're still only like six bucks. But if you don't have this, uh let me take you off the tripod here for a second. Hold on, it's going to get a little rough. It's going to get a little rough here. Okay. I had to put this in my hand. Alright, what I did is I just put a nail in the vise here. And what you can actually do is just, just hang your blade on that. If you come down here, you can see it's hanging low. So you don't need any anything fancy. You just need a nail and a a vice or, or something to, to hang it on. You guys should hang it on a wall. But anyway, we still got to take some off of that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grind that down a little bit. And try and make this thing a, a little lighter. You should really wire wheel this and take all this crud off and everything. But I'm not getting crazy. You know, I'm just uh, I'm just sharpening it because I got them off. All right, put your hearing protection on. We're gonna take off a little bit at a time.
take a little extra off by accident, no big deal, and you just take more off for the other side. Alright, let's uh, stick it on here, I'll try to stay out of your way. You see this? It's all in perfect for this. See you now that's a little better. Actually, let me get my glasses here. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Having a tough time. Keep it on this because it's this isn't a this isn't a regular hole that we got, I got on right now. Alright, you see that's now that's a lot better, but we still need to take some more off. It's gotta it's gotta come up about there, so. Alright. I'm gonna cut some off and then we'll uh, we'll try it on for size again. Okay. What I did was put this adapter in here so I don't have to dick around trying to center that. I can just put it right on this uh, right on the little thing. Okay. Now you can see we're still we're still off. We're, it looks more off now because it's probably uh, more centered. But uh, let's see what we got here. All right, I'm going right to the blade, right to the point there, and it's two inches. It's a shame my board wasn't longer. So I'm going to put this right at the edge of the board there, so we're taking a measurement on the same spot. Looks like two and a quarter. Let me spin it around here. And that's about uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take more off. And I'll get back with you. All right. See how the nail's doing here. You have to make sure it's centered on the nail too, because you can you can actually affect what it does. There you go. Mm. So that's still a little bit off on even on a nail, so. Alright. Let's cut some down. Alright, we're happy we had it close enough. Let's see. You see, this isn't an exact science. You could actually put this on here. You know, I got it, I got it pretty good, but uh, that's roughly about an inch and a half, inch and five eighths. And you spin it around. I guess all you have to do is eye it up. See, that looks like it's off, but. If you just dick around with this a little bit, you know, so see that's about an inch and a half, inch and five eighths. So, so you, you eye it up, you know, you, you touch it, and you even go here. That's uh, Just under two inches. Actually, seven eighths to the top there, and seven eighths to the top there. So anyway, you know it's close enough. Like I say, it's it's not an exact science, but it gets you in a ballpark. The first time you hit a stone, you, you're gonna throw it out of balance anyway, so nothing to worry about. All right, I'm gonna throw. I'm happy with that, and uh, just so happens that. I did get rid of all the all the little nicks in there because I had to cut it so much on both sides. So it's actually uh, pretty good. All right, I think I'm gonna go in the house and shave with this, and then I'll put it back on the mower. Alrighty, enough of this.